Surprise, I was kidding. I'm not listening to Iowa next. I saw quite a few comments of people saying, no, you can't listen to Iowa until I listen to this called XIX. I don't know if those are Roman numerals or what, but obviously it's a song by Slipknot here, and it's the intro song on the uh, Grey chapter. So apparently I missed this one as well. And there's actually a music video for it, which I think is pretty cool. So I guess this is the last official one that I need to check out, according to a lot of you guys. Um, so we'll see. I'll be checking the comments to see if I missed another one, but I'm going to be listening to this one, and then Iowa's next, unless you guys tell me otherwise. So hey, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. This sounds really cool. It sounds like some bizarre church themed music, but I wish I had honestly heard this at the beginning because obviously now that I know that the album is about uh, Paul who died, but this is like, this is giving me chills the way that they're starting this out here. It's like really haunting. Ugh. I cannot she literally no clothes what I can't have <laughs> my channel's getting shut down <laughs> what with my face against the floor Ugh. I can't see Yo! To get back up, but I have to, so I might as well be today. Dude, is this safe to freaking watch? Like, okay, I know I can't put this on Twitch, but is this safe for freaking YouTube? Obviously, it's up, but like, Jesus. So I might as well be today. Like, ease up, ease Nothing up. His vocals, Corey. I'm in no shape to be alone. Contrary to the shit that you might hear. Love the music. So walk with me. Walk with me. Yo, who who else is doing the vocals there? Is that just Corey? Because it sounds like a group kind of vocal where he's saying walk with me. It sounds amazing. I love this really kind of haunting spin on like some uh, church style music. I don't really know how you describe it, but the this entire style of the song definitely gives you this feel that like something bad has happened or something dark has happened. And it's really interesting how they can kind of develop those emotions. <laughs> It's crazy. So let this fucking world tear you apart. Yeah. Wow. Very 
very dramatic. I love that. Holy crap. Man, I wish I had heard that, like, sooner, honestly. It sounded really good, but I'm sure not hearing any songs on this album first and hearing that compared to everything else that I had heard, I would have been even more like, dude, what kind of style of music is this? Because this album just sounds so different than all of their other albums, and it would have been a very surprising intro, I guess, but still, nevertheless, had the same, uh, same appeal for me. That was crazy. All right, that was XIX by Slipknot. I, if that's a Roman numeral, I'm supposed to pronounce it some other way, but I don't know how to freaking read it. I know X is 10 and I is 1, but whatever. That's like over 100. I don't know. I don't know what that stands for. Maybe it's just XIX. Anyways, really interesting intro to the album. Like I said, it had that really dark spin off on like a church themed music that really fit what the album's all about, you know, after losing their. Uh, was it Basis Paul? Um, really, really deep, really emotional. I mean, you could feel it in Corey's voice that this intro already had so much kind of pain and everything put into it. And I, I don't know if those were group vocals or if those were layered vocals when he was saying walk with me, but they were really powerful and just really emphasized and you just kind of felt it. Like I had chills through it, especially scenes like this. I mean, this just looks like really, really creepy having this kind of like dead hollow tree here in the middle of this empty field the coffin there and everything like it's they definitely set you up for uh for a very dark emotional kind of journey uh the nudity kids if you're watching i, I don't i don't think any kids watch this channel but you know could have laid off on that a little bit i hope that doesn't get flagged on my channel but i'm sure it's fine but hey other than that it was a really cool intro and guys let me know if there's anything else that i need to listen to before iowa i will plan on iowa the self-titled song being the next song that i listen to um unless you guys say otherwise but let me know and as always if you're still here if you're still watching thank you so much and i will see you on the next one